cut right through the hose. Like a glove. Last one! Yeah. Yeah. Tina! Yeah, there you go. Hey everybody, another deck update. Gare came for an, uh, one more four day work week. We went hard, like 10, 12 hour days. And we have everything that's gonna be roofing is up there for wood. And then we put roofing tar paper above that, but there's no metal roofing yet. But that paper, we could, we could go through this winter with just that paper and worry about metal roof next year if we had to. So we'll see. And we just started putting on some decking boards. A lot of these boards are just loose sitting there. Some of them up there by the front door are screwed on. There's a lot more of that to do. And we, we started doing the foundation and you can see the shape of what the rest of the deck over here to the utility room looks like. Kind of wraps around and becomes a lot more narrow. And then that big area where Tina is sitting is the, the big main focus of the deck. And so here at the front door, right before Gary left, we nailed some of them in. But the big issue we're having is my, my mill isn't consistent and accurate enough for nice material to come straight off the mill and put straight onto the deck. It needs to be really consistent and perfectly straight to do that. And my mill's having some problems where I'm getting some wavy cuts and stuff where when I'm milling these big, 4x12s and stuff, some waviness is fine, but when you're trying to line decking boards up to look nice and straight, and we're having to put a lot of them on the table saw, and that takes a huge amount of time. So I've ordered some better guides. The guides, there's two guides where the bandsaw blade kind of becomes perfectly straight and cuts through the log, or it's supposed to be perfectly straight. There's a guide on either end, and I've ordered some stuff to upgrade that. So. Hopefully I can make some tweaks to the mill and make it work a lot better. And then I'll mill some more cedar and hopefully get it to a point where it could come straight off the mill, straight onto here. And then it'll be a lot faster. Working by myself, sending stuff through, long stuff through the table saw would be really hard. So 
there's a lot of other stuff to do like jump on the pond for a bit and catch up with the animals so it's totally fine to take a break on the deck and long term we'll do nice railing all around and we'll probably do one stairwell you know this is the front door of the yurt so coming straight off the front of the yurt straight out will be a nice stairwell and then a bunch of that area up there will bring in more gravel and grade it up where you just walk straight onto the deck from ground level over at that end. So that's the state of the deck. What else is going on? We've got still got nine piglets alive and well. Um, we're noticing that Rose, the first mama, is starting to look pretty skinny. It's not terribly surprising when she's nursing piglets. They're really sucking the life out of her. So we'll keep an eye on her. We're going to start giving them more food. And we just moved them today to try to give them fresh forage. Mm -hmm. And we're probably going to slaughter and eat Wayne and Garth around the late October time frame because we don't want another round of piglets right away especially in the middle of winter so that's part of the plan and then we're not sure how many piglets we'll keep we'll try to sell as many as we can um, and then just keep what we have to and then practice making meat out of little pigs anything else Tina got a big standing baby baby can stand up crawl around hi you want to say anything to everybody you want to call the camera and check it out? Pretty cool. <laughs> that's it. All right. Well, that's another quick update. Thanks for hanging with us. Say bye. Goodbye. <laughs> bye, baby. <laughs>